Back to my version of server. <clears throat> okay, suppose we have, I have, uh, say this is capital M, I have a small m and small k and then I have large k and C. Uh, let this is X2T and this is X1T. Okay? Then what we can do is set up the equation of motion. Okay? How? M zero zero capital M X so sorry, this if this is X one X two I have to do it. M X one X two plus x1 dot, x2 dot, c matrix plus k matrix, x1, x2 is equal to the force acting on mass 1 and forcing acting at mass 2. What do we will have over here? What we will have over here? And what we will have over here? Hmm? C and K. Yeah. But we have four elements. C? C? Everybody upset? C? over here? Zero. What over here? Zero. Two. Zero. Are we do are we deciding the element in democratic way or scientific way? Okay. Let's see whether our intuition is what about over here? Capital K? Huh? Capital K? Only capital K? So the, we distribute the value plus small k? What about over here? Minus small k? Minus large k? Small k? Small k? Okay, let's check. Okay, let this one fixed. Okay? And move this one upward, then we have minus k. Right? Let this one fixed and move this one downward. Then? the force exerted to the mass 2 is minus k. So this is okay. Okay? Let this one fixed and move this one upward. The force acting on this mass, that is 1, is k plus k. That's okay. Right? And also this one has to be k. So this looks okay. What about this one? The, we can check this by the, the, as uh, I mean by the same way as we did, right? Okay. Then we can solve this using MATLAB or by hand using famous transformation. 
uh, we go x to q, to q we get v vector, therefore we have p matrix, and then we have r. Okay? Do you think this will give us the solution, I mean, at least the way to suppress the vibration using this dynamic observer? It's to give us the solution. Okay. Therefore, what we need is a appropriate measure that expresses the quality of vibration suppression. Right? I mean, having solution is not the best means to achieve what we want to have. I mean, the, what, the kind of measure has to be depending on our objectives. Right? So, we will see what kind of object function has to be handled to achieve our goal to reduce the vibration, to suppress the vibration using dynamic observer or how to suppress, how to reduce the transmitted force to the ground and how to uh, minimize the, 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 the vibration due to the base excitation. Okay? And we, we may, we may uh, uh, be uh, successful to reduce the noise induced by this guy by putting another vibration observer. Okay, it's an active noise control problem. Okay. okay, see you then next time, and I appreciate everybody punctured in the class, and uh, I hope to see you everybody and uh, coming Monday, and also as I announced to you. I want to see every student before our coming Wednesday, next week,